know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Hello creatives, welcome to my channel. I'm all about creativity and trying new things. And what's a better time to try new things than a new year, huh? And the start of a new year is a completely different vibe. January is the time when you try to change yourself for the better and improve your lifestyle. It's the time when you're open to new experiences and challenging yourself. And that's exactly what I'm doing today. This year, I have promised myself to break my shell, come out of my comfort zone and actually go through with all of my random crazy ideas that I think of. And to start with, I thought I'd try my hand at an art supply, which I haven't used before. So let's go. This is my first time using watercolor pencils. So if you realize that I'm doing something wrong, please let me know in the comments below. I bought these for myself as a Christmas present and I've been so eager to use them. I normally use this watercolor palette and I love it because it's small and it can easily travel with me. Plus it's more than 8 years old and I get attached to things very easily. Anyways, today I'm going to be using these Faber-Castell 24 Colors Grip watercolor pencils. They are triangular and much easier to grip than round pencils because they fit nicely between your fingers. And I'll be painting on this Reeves 300 GSM A4 watercolor paper. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. image as a reference for my artwork. It's one of the Happy New Year images I received on WhatsApp, as you do. And I quite liked it because it just feels so happy and colourful. Plus, it gives me a chance to test out all of my watercolour pencils. So, to start with, I'm drawing the basic outlines of the flowers and the leaves. I'm not colouring them or anything because watercolour is all about layering. So I'll be shading and adding in some tone with the water. At first use, the pencils are okay. The grip is really nice and the colours are rough on the paper. It doesn't give a smooth finish like colouring pencils do, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. This is what it looks like when I've roughly finished adding in the colours and shaping up the piece how I want. So next, I'm using my size 2 round brush to finally start the watercolour process. There was a size 4 brush included with the set, but I need a smaller sized brush to focus on the shading and fine details of this artwork. I'm starting with the pink roses first, and using my wet paintbrush, I'm painting from the outside in direction. So I'm using the colour from the outline and blending it inwards, instead of blending from the inside out. This way I still have a darker outline of the roses and a much lighter petal, so that it gives it some depth. If I was painting something else, like a person or an animal or even a building, I guess I'd be starting with the lighter shades of the painting so it blends well with the darker shades. But in this case, I want my flowers to be bright and really stand out, so I'm focusing more on the shadows and the depth of the flowers. However, I feel like I have to use quite a bit of water to actually get these colours to spread. The pencil colour doesn't seem to flow well on the paper when it's activated. Before I finish, I'd actually like to say that I love watercolours. They can be a difficult medium to work with without any practice, but I think I prefer my watercolour palette than the pencils. 
I'm so used to the watercolor disc that I've been using because I have control over it and it's so much easier to blend the colors. I also have watercolor tubes but I haven't used them before so might do a video with that maybe. Now that the flowers are complete, I'm shading the leaves using different greens so that my artwork looks more interesting and colorful. Now, watercoloring is all about patience and layering. So I'm using the same sort of process and technique with watercolor pencils. After this first layer is completely dry, I'm going in again with the pencils to add shading and details to the flowers. But this time, I'm focusing on one flower at a time, so that the colors blend well. I've done the same with the lavenders and the sunflowers, using the darker shades of the colors to add in shadows, and then using the water to blend it in. I'm doing the same with the leaves using different shades of green but a new technique I'm trying is touching my wet paintbrush on the tip of the pencil and adding the fine details that way instead of coloring directly on the paper. I'm not sure if you can do that because the box said that not to dip the pencil color directly into the water but it's working quite well. Overall, after completing this exercise and making this artwork, my preference is the watercolor palette than the pencils. So, this is the outcome of me trying watercolor pencils for the very first time. And I don't love it, I don't hate it, but it was definitely a fun process. So please give it a go. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.